Okay, just getting set up here. I think I may be a couple of minutes early, but I'm going to hop over on my computer and find the video. And give everyone a few minutes to hop on and then we'll get started. Sorry about that. Okay, I think that's it. So, looks like a couple of people have found me already. So thank you for joining me. And if you're catching me on the replay, I really appreciate that as well. Um, my name is Christy Hillock. I am with CJ Card Creations in Salt Lake, uh, Utah. And I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I really, really enjoy getting to come to show you guys fun new projects every Thursday. So I have been doing this every Thursday for three months now, which I have to say, I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I only had to do a pre-recorded video one or two times in there. So it's been fun and I hope that you all are enjoying it as well. Um, to get started tonight, I did just want to go over a few things. So... All of these cards that you're seeing here are included with my per Pretty Perennials class to go. The deadline to register for that is next Monday, May 15th. Is that right? Just kidding. It's the 17th. May 17th, next Monday. And also, that is the deadline for registering for my product shares. So I'm doing the class to go, and then that is 34. Five, I believe, but there's more information at the link that I shared with this video. And then uh, I also have that product share, the paper share, the designer series paper. You get all of the new um, printed papers that we have and you get a quarter of each pack and that is $51. And then with the ribbon share, you get, I want to say... Oh my goodness. I mean, it's a quarter of each bolt. So what is that? Most of our bolts of ribbon are 10 yards. So two and a half yards of each. There are a couple that are only five yards. And so it'll be one and a quarter yards there. But that ribbon share is $24. And if you buy both shares, then it's $75. And you also get a quarter of a pack of the Pattern Party Designer Series paper as a thank you from me. And that paper is otherwise only available as a hostess reward. Um, so anytime that you spend $150 or more, or if you have a party that has sales of $150 or more, then you're eligible to use those rewards on the hostess items that are in the back of the catalog. And this is actually the catalog. And now that it's live, I can show you the inside, which is fun. So this is that pattern party. It's on page 171, but it's a huge pack of paper and it's beautiful, all sorts of really useful patterns and not so much on the big images like some of our other printed papers are. So that's there. And then I also had the catalog open to the Expressions and in Ink Suite. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is that we just found out this week that the June Paper Pumpkin is called Expressions in Color and it coordinates with this product suite. So if you have looked at this and thought it was pretty, you are not going to want to miss that paper pumpkin. It coordinates with a few of colors and they're mostly our new in colors, which is really exciting. So evening evergreen, fresh freesia and polished pink. And then it also coordinates with bumblebee, which is one of last year's new in colors. So it's still active through the rest of this, this catalog. Um, this kit will make nine cards. And you get your exclusive stamp set, and also you'll get two of the ink spots rather than just the one that's normal. So that's really fun. So if you have any questions about that, you can email me, message me on Facebook, whatever you want to do. Um, but I really think it's going to be one not to miss. So that's that's exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and set it aside. Thank you all for being here. It's so nice to see you. And 
just get to spend a little bit of time with you. We just got home from Jonah's last soccer game of the season, and he was sad because he never did score a goal this season, but he played so hard, and he really did really well. So it was a lot of fun to watch all the kids getting um, getting better at soccer because before when we've played, it's just been like preschoolers chasing each other around or picking grass. So it was a, it was a really good season. So I'm just getting all of the things that I need for our project tonight. If you saw the title, you saw that it is a designer series paper gift card holder. So part of my motivation for doing this project tonight is that with the product share, your paper will all be in six by 12 sizes. And sometimes you aren't quite sure what to do with that size of a piece other than obviously chopping it into multiple smaller pieces. Uh, but I did want to just give you a couple of ideas of fun things that you can do with that sheet, mostly as a whole. So this is one of them that I made recently. And this is a six by 12 sheet. And then you just add a cardstock base and it's really a very large bag. So I can't, I mean, a bath bomb or a lot of candy. If there's somebody that you really want to give diabetes, or, you know, just different things. Um, so it's a really nice bag. And then the gift card holder is what we're going to make tonight. And this is one that I made earlier, just, you know, it's graduation season and end of the school year. So we need gift cards to give to teachers and, and other people, any graduates. And so this one, the way it will work, and of course I don't have a gift card here, but this makes a little pocket that you will just slide your gift card in. And then otherwise it's a normal card size and it will mail if that's how you need to get it to your person. And it's also just you get to see both sides of the really pretty paper. So this one is actually using the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. And I know these are sea stars. Nope, are we back? Sorry guys, that was totally my bad, not anything. Okay, are we here? Looks like maybe we're back. Okay, so anyway, sorry about that. I am doing better with the technology, but there's always something, isn't there? So, okay, well, now that I have had, oh, thank you, I'm, I'm glad you can see me too. Um, now that I've had a couple of minutes to show you everything that was the inspiration here, we're going to go ahead and take the Snail Mill Designer Series paper, and that's what I want to use for this next gift card holder. So I'm just going to pull out the arm here, and I didn't include the score lines on like the measurements for the score lines on my comments, but hopefully um, I can go back in and, and add them. So the first score line, and you know what's really just brilliant on my part is that I wrote them down somewhere and now I have absolutely no clue where that paper went. So I'm, my craft room is sort of a disaster. Joe won't even come in here right now, which is kind of not a bad thing, but it is also sort of embarrassing. So, okay, we are going to score at four and a quarter. So right there, and then just make sure with the trimmer that you're using the score blade and not the cutting blade. And also with printed paper, it's a lot thinner than our regular cardstock. So as you score, you don't wanna to push too hard with this guy. Okay, so we've done that score and then um, I'm just gonna sort of figure it out, so bear with me here. I'm gonna flip it around and do four and a quarter again. And then I know that this will um, this middle panel is gonna get cut in or scored in half. So let me just. 
You're very sweet, Aunt Pat. I feel like I struggle on a regular basis. <laughs> and now the fact that I didn't even bother to make sure I had the measurements, but you know, that's what happens. So, okay. This panel is, so 12 minus eight and a half would be three and a half, right? Oh my gosh, struggles. And then half of three and a half is one and three quarters. So I'm gonna go four and a quarter plus one and three quarters is, let's see, six. Okay, that's what I had in my head, but I just it didn't feel right. So, okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to burnish all of these score lines here and make sure that everything is actually lining up the way I thought it should. Um, so I'm done with this trimmer. So I'll set that aside and then I'm just gonna take my bone folder here. And, well, and it's not lining up just perfectly, but you can, as you're burnishing, you can fix that, so. <laughs> Mental math life, oh my gosh. The only reason I'm capable of doing anything is because Jonah's doing this like road rally is what they call it, but it's just self-paced math testing. And so they started out with addition and then moved to um, subtraction and he's gone through all of the times tables now. And so he's working on mixed multiplication and, and that is no joke. It's really intense. It's funny. He, um, he's definitely having to think a lot harder and it's, it's not, um, memorization at all. So he's hoping he can finish it up before school lets out in a couple of weeks because I don't know, it's not like he gets anything for having to do it at the beginning of next year. They'll start all over. But I think just to say that he accomplished all of that, which would really be pretty impressive. I think he's been the head of the class. So I'm just putting a strip of tear and tape and I want it to be at the very bottom here, um, which is essentially like the seam side of your card, the, the fold, because we want that pocket and it's going to be, it's shallower than it looks like it would be um, when you get the gift card in there. So, all right, so I'm gonna come over here. And again, that didn't line up perfectly, but we will just make that the back side, and it will be fine. So what I'm going to do now is grab my Big Shot. And because of the way this one has to run through, it actually has to be the Big Shot and not the little mini guy. So I'm going to take this so it's, you know, you're adhered right here and you open it up so that only the pocket part is here. And then I'm going to take one of my stitched rectangles and just center it up on here. And the pocket doesn't need to be too deep, so we'll just go about halfway on that rectangle. And then, and my plates look awful again, so just pretend you didn't see that. Um, I've been cutting a lot with all of the different class kits and everything and I just really I use this guy a ton and I'm hoping that he will continue working because it is sort of sorry that was bumpy um it's certainly a big investment to get the the large one I haven't invested in the the new version that Stampin Up has come out with all right so now you've got that center piece um with your pocket for your gift card and we want it to be like this so now what I'm going to do is take a piece of Bermuda Bay that is four and a quarter by five and a half which is your standard card size and actually now that I've got the card the the printed paper part done I just need to cut it down to four inches total so it'll be the four by five and a quarter panel that we typically use for layering. And now I will take my liquid glue. I'm just 
set this on here. So, you know, I mentioned what a disaster my craft room is right now. And part of that is with the new catalog. I haven't been able to get through and pull all of the retiring product and organize the new product and everything. Um, but Joe's taking the kids camping this weekend. So I'm actually going to get a weekend to myself, maybe unless they can't get a campsite on Saturday, in which case they'll be back, but at least I'll have gotten Saturday. Um, so that's there. That's, that's kind of the game plan here. And now this little piece that I cut out is nicely stitched and it is folded in half, but we could totally use it for something like that if we wanted to. Um, or I can save it for something else because I mean, we just don't waste paper, do we? So now I've got this three and three quarters by five piece that I'm going to layer on the inside. And that will just be my space to write an, a note and everything. So we are going to go ahead and decorate that. And I have, let's see, my Blushing Bride, which is one of the colors that coordinates with this designer series paper stack. So I am going to ink up these hearts and they are from the Valentine Keepsakes stamp set, which honestly, I, um, I am so not into Valentine's, but I really liked this heart and then the little flower looking hearts. So that's what we're using. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it off and then we'll just make a little little garden over here. And the reason that I chose hearts is because if you look, there's hearts on all the different mail, um, happy mail, you know, make everybody feel loved. So then I also have this stitched scalloped die that's from the scalloped contours die set that I am absolutely loving. And I am going to ink this again and we'll just stamp it here. And this time I wanna do it twice. So there's gonna be just a little bit of overlap, but I think it'll be okay. All right, so that looks good. Now I can put away this blushing bride. And, you know, I had this whole thing planned in my head. <laughs> And then I went and did other things. And so, you know, because I, I didn't actually make this exact one. So we'll just kind of wing it here. Just seemed to be the way the game is going tonight anyway. But I am going to go ahead and adhere my card liner in here now. And I really liked this um, inside piece too. It looks like, you know, a postage stamp with the, the way the edges are. And we have a rectangular postage stamp punch, but I just couldn't quite come up with how I wanted to incorporate that. So I didn't. Um, so we'll get this centered up here. But I definitely think that that would have been a fun option to use. Okay, there is that. So now we just have the outside to decorate. And what we're going to do is set this all aside. And I've got just a scrap of white here. And the sentiment that I want to use is thank you for everything. And that is actually from the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. And this is a bundle in the new catalog and it has a beautiful punch that punches out these flowers. It's um, sort of a flower builder. So you get both sizes of flowers and both sizes of the leaf. So I just liked the font on this thank you for everything, the way it really looks handwritten there. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it with this real red. And this is the die that I'm gonna use, which is also from the scalloped contour. So I just wanna kinda make sure that I'm leaving enough space around the stamp. So there's that. Okay. One more time with the big shot here. And typically when you have um, rectangles or squares or that kind of thing, you don't want to run it straight through. That's what makes that cracking sound that you heard when I was doing the other one. 
Um, with that one, I really just didn't have an alternative because that card base had to go through that orientation. Um, but with this, I can angle it just a little bit and it'll make the machine just a little bit happier. So, roll this through. Sorry, it makes everything shake. All right, so we've got that now. And this one, instead of being stitched, has these cute little, I don't know what you call them in sewing terms or whatever, but the little polka dot looking whole things. So anyway, just get all of those popped out before I adhere it. And I could use the pointy part of the take your pick tool, but the scissors are closer. So that's what we're rolling with. And things are coming back to me, which is always good. I think, nope, didn't want to do that. I think I was going to just pop this on top with dimensionals. So sweet and simple, but um, you know, going for teachers and graduates, I don't necessarily think that a huge fancy piece of art in a card is the way to go. So, oh, eyelet might be it. Yeah, sewing is, I've tried. I'm not sure that's my thing. So uh, I don't know much about the terminology, but eyelet sounds good to me. So thank you. All right, there is that. And pop this on here. Mm, I don't know, I kind of like centered. One would hope that it would be straight, but I can't guarantee that actually. Okay, so that is that. And then you open it up and your gift card will be right there and just a sweet little note. So what do you think? I, I also made one of these for Jenna's um, soccer coach today, but I already saw him and gave it to him. So I can't show you that one. But I used the well-suited designer series paper from the mini catalog. And it's it's all plaids and stripes and um, Pacific Point blue and navy and black and gray and it's really pretty and the team was the lions but their color was kind of a royal blue so it went really well with the Pacific Point so I thought that was fun. So that is what I had for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and I am so grateful that you guys showed up and supported me and, and you watched with me while I did math on screen so that was fascinating. Um, I would love it if I could get a catalog into your hands if you don't already have one or have a demonstrator that you work with. And if you liked any of these products or need any of these products, I would really appreciate your business. If you like and share my videos, I'll draw a name from those who share and I'll send you a pack of four cards as a thank you too, because that also helps get more views on my videos and hopefully, um, you know, we are able to keep doing this and so yeah, well, thank you all. I'm glad that you liked it and I really appreciate everything. And I will talk to you next week. If you come up with ideas that you would like to see or uh, a type of project or anything, please let me know. Okay, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.